Well, very good to see you um, and welcome to morning prayer on Thursday, the 27th of January. I hope this finds you well. Um, we're not actually remembering or um, commemorating, celebrating anything in particular today, um, but we are still in epiphany season. Um, and um, we'll be hearing words from Psalm uh, 48, as well as um, continuing our work to uh, walk towards the end of um, Matthew's gospel. Um, and within our prayer calendar, um, we, uh, along with all um, churches across the Diocese of Bath and Wells, um, remember the six million Jewish souls murdered during the Holocaust, uh, and um, we we pray into that. So um, much to pray for, um, as always, uh, not least in our own lives and in the church and in the world. So let's um, offer to God our prayers. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are the people of we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm today, Psalm number 48, is a psalm of praise. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great king. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, with they writhed like a woman in labour as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we had heard, so have we seen. In the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God, God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go around about her, count all her towers, consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels. That you might tell those who come after that such is our God forever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. So we turn to the New Testament and Matthew 26, verses 47 to 56, Jesus' betrayal. While Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. 
Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than a twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled which say it must happen in this way? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day, I sit, sat in the temple teaching and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. So we turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the world and the church and the day ahead of us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Lord, we remember Jesus' betrayal. We remember Judas, his willingness to let you down. And Lord, of course, in a way we can relate to that because we too let you down in so many ways. We betray you and your love. So, Lord, we take a moment to call to mind our sin. The ways in which we let you down, we fail to love you and one another and indeed your creation as we should sometimes even fail to love ourselves as we should. So, Lord, we're sorry. And we pray that your Holy Spirit will strengthen us as we seek to serve you as we can and as we should. We pray that you would forgive us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, as some would defend Jesus with violence, so we, we know that many people in our world still resort to violence, Many have done. Many have chosen that path. Lord, we know that there are many people today who, who still choose to fight in the wrong way. So, Lord, we pray for those areas of the world where there is violence of any kind of warfare threat of violence. Pray for nations like uh, North Korea and Afghanistan and particularly at this time Ukraine and Russia and the tensions there. Lord we pray for the leaders and those in positions of influence that peace will prevail. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. And Lord, particularly today within our diocese, we're asked to pray for remembering the six million Jewish souls murdered during the Holocaust. And we ask for your forgiveness when we give space to fear, negativity and hatred of others, simply because they are different. Lord, we lament the fact that there's still much prejudice in our world. Indeed, the church isn't immune from it. And Lord, we thank you for the progress that has been made, but we recognise the progress that still needs to be made. So we pray that you would open our 
eyes and hearts to matters of justice and equality. Lord, we pray that we would have the grace and courage to stand together with those who are suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as always, we come before you praying for those who suffer, particularly those who are ill in body, mind or spirit. Those perhaps who are feeling weak at this time. Those suffering from seasonal affected disorder. In these dark and long winter months. Those with particular problems, remembering before you, Jean and Jenny, Pat and John. And at the same time, remembering those who grieve. Friends and families of Pat Batten, of Geoffrey Dennett, of John Beagle and of Viv Davis. Lord, we pray that you would grant them strength and healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us today, not least the, the funeral of Viv Davis taking place at uh, Taunton Creme at 12 o'clock. Lord, we thank you for her long life of 94 and a half years and for her faithful membership of St John's Church here along with her husband Peter. Lord we pray for the service to go well to be a fitting send-off that we may all gain a glimpse of your glory and your presence. Lord I pray for my own visit too to uh, Norton Primary School to share in collective worship exploring the theme of uh, perseverance lord we pray again that your holy spirit will lead us in that and throughout the rest of the day's activities lord we pray that you would lead us that lord in your mercy hear our prayer So to our collect for today, almighty God, whose son revealed in signs and miracles the wonder of your saving presence. Renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness, sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me today. Um, I hope that you have a great day. Um, and um, services taking place this Sunday um, in the Benefice. Um, we have an eight o'clock service at St John's Staple Grove, um, if you're um, an early bird, um, and equally 10.30 Holy Communion um, Joint benef Benefice Service, um, equally at um, St John's Staple Grove. Um, so do come along um, uh, for that if you'd like to. That would be great to see you. Take care.